Good evening guys, do you have old printables that you haven't used? Have you got some scraps in your box? Well, today I decided to use some old printables and my scraps to see if I could get some collage tags put together. In front of you, this piece of paper started its life as an old printable. It didn't come out according to my plan. So, using some of my scraps from my little scrap box, I decided to start gluing pieces of scrap randomly across this piece of paper. If I give you a demonstration here, I just happen to have a piece that I've put through my cuttle bug, nice, with a nice little bit of luster on there, but it's scrap, can't really do much with it, so I would take it, I might take a pair of scissors and just cut it down a little bit, so cut it in half, but I would just lay it down on my paper and glue it down. It is all about, these are rather large scraps, I've been working more along the lines of just little pieces of scrap like so, just stick them down randomly onto your piece of paper all the odd bits and pieces from my printables, just building up a nice collage. Once that's down, I then went ahead and used my stays on ink in black and chose some wooden stamps sticking to a bit of a sewing theme here, I had some buttons, sewing machine, in the set comes with a heart and love, I just recently picked these up from our local Wilkinsons, so I had a play, so using the stamps, you can see the black images on some of the white pieces of paper that were left bare, and I've just randomly stamped across. So this is all glued, all stuck down. I then went to my photocopier and I photocopied this sheet because obviously it's got a mixture of different paper stock on here, some card, some really light paper. So once that was photocopied, I cut it into a sheet that I was going to use in my journal. And then I took a body form and I started cutting and out a body form and then I stamped some butterflies through the body form. Yet again using stays on ink in red. Once I had done that, and once the colour was added, I moved on re-photocopied my work, blew it up slightly and then moved on to journaling. I wrote about the process that I've just done today. So across this piece of paper is all my handwriting. Yet again, run it through the photocopier and finished off with a little bit more stamping using some paper mania stamps that I've got so these are big areas that I've covered so now that I've achieved this is my background mixed media piece I then went on to cutting out tags so I backed my paper onto card took my mixed media paper, drew round a tag, like so, and cut a background tag ready to go. Here we have a tag that I have finished. So here is my background, all stamped up and the hole punched. 
I then found some images in my stash which have come from Mary Watkin on Flickr. You can use them for your own personal use in your artwork. I looked in and found that I had some washi which had some colour and impact so I've included some washi. I had some very old ribbon that was given to me or gifted to me a fair few years back which I tea dyed to take it from being crisp white. And then I decided using the stays on blazing red I just brought the little butterfly in for a little bit of added colour and just occasionally stamped on some of the ribbon because it stays on it will be permanent it won't rub off and also back over my tags so I just like to show you some of the tags that I have been making using this method so this is one sheet of A4 paper using my own mixed media background that I've created out of stamps and an old printable. I think you would agree that I've had lots of fun doing them and they've got lots of colour and individuality. Many thanks for watching. Bye bye.